कोटा वीडियो लन मिस का कुंडो उन्डा लन टे मेरे सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक एंड कमेंट जेंडी मेरे पक्का गांठन कोटन्डी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट इंडियन साइंटिस्ट इन हिस्ट्री C.V. Raman was the first Indian person to win the Nobel Prize in Science for his illustrious 1930 discovery, now commonly known as Raman Effect. It is immensely surprising that Raman used equipment worth merely rupees 200 to make this discovery. The Raman Effect is now examined with the help of equipment worth almost millions of rupees. Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman was born at Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu on 7th November 1888 to a physical teacher. Raman was a very sharp student. After doing his matriculation at 12, he was supposed to go abroad for higher studies. But after medical examination, a British surgeon suggested against it. Raman instead attended Presidency College, Madras. After completing his graduation in 1904 and MSc in Physics in 1907, Raman put through various significant researchers in the field of Physics. He studied the diffraction of light and his thesis on the subject was published in 1906. Raman was made a Deputy Accountant General in Calcutta in 1907 after a successful civil service competition examination. Very much occupied due to his job, he spent his spare time in the evenings conducting scientific research at the laboratory of the Indian Association for Cultivation of Sciences. On certain occasions, he even spent entire nights there such was his passion that in 1970 he resigned from the position to become the professor of physics at calcutta university on a sea voyage to europe in 1921 raman curiously noticed the blue color of the glaciers and the mediterranean he was passionate to discover the reason for the blue color once Raman returned to India, he performed many experiments regarding the scattering of light from water and transparent blocks of ice. According to the results, he established the scientific explanation for the blue color of seawater and sky. There is a captivating event that served as the inspiration for the discovery of the Raman effect. Raman was busy doing some work on a December evening in 1927 when his student K. S. Krishnan, who later became the director of the National Physical Laboratory, New Delhi, gave him the news that Professor Campton had won the Nobel Prize on scattering of X-rays. This led Raman to have some thoughts. He commented that if the Compton effect is applicable for X-rays, it must also be true for light. He carried out some experiments to establish his opinion. Raman employed monochromatic light for the mercury arc which penetrated transparent materials and was allowed to fall on a spectrograph to record its spectrum. During this, Raman detected some new lines in the spectrum which were later called Raman lines. After a few months, Raman put forward his discovery of Raman effect. In a meeting of scientists at Bangalore, 
on March 16, 1928, for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. The Raman effect is considered very significant in analyzing the molecular structure of chemical compounds. After a decade of its discovery, the structure of about 2000 compounds had been studied. Thanks to the invention of the laser, the Raman effect has proved to be very useful too for scientists. Some of Raman's other interests were the physiology of human vision, the optics of colloids and the electrical and magnetic anisotropy. Sir C. V. Raman became the Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1924. A year later, he set up Raman Research Institute near Bangalore, where he continued scientific research until his death, which was caused by a strong heart attack on 21 November 1970. His sincere advice to aspiring scientists was that scientific research needed independent thinking and hard work not equipment thank you for watching edupedia world please subscribe to watch more videos yes there are some people who remember february for other important days besides valentines the 28th of february national science day but but do you know why we celebrate National Science Day? Well, today, a commerce student who flunked 11th is going to tell you exactly why we celebrate it. What's the matter of laughing? And also because my boss has asked me to do it. <laughs> it's time for appraisal. In 1921, famous Indian physicist C.V. Raman was on a ship one day coming back from London when a question struck him. Why is the sea really blue? He wasn't convinced with the notion that it's blue because of the sky's color. So in March 1928, he published a theory that came to be known as a Raman scattering, aka Raman effect. Raman scattering is the change in the wavelength of light that occurs when a light beam is deflected by molecules. Basically, and this is called the Raman effect. Ji, mein nahi aaya. Hmm, ab, uh, ab Raman scattering ko aap logo ko simply explain karne ka mere paas koi nahi hai. So let's try something that works on similar grounds. It's a simple may explain nahi kar sakta. You see an apple on a bright sunny day. It's red in color, right? 